Welcome to the lesson Predeterminers. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define predeterminers, identify predeterminers in given sentences. Sid has come over to Vicky's house. They are playing basketball. Vicky asks Sid if he has completed all the English homework assigned by the class teacher. Sid replies that he has only done half the work. Vicky laughs and tells Sid that at least he knows how to use predeterminers. Sid is surprised to hear the term predeterminers. So Vicky decides to take a break from basketball and explain predeterminers to Sid. Come, let us also learn about predeterminers. A determiner is a word that determines or limits the meaning of a noun. Examples of determiners are a, an, the, his, her, their, some, many, much, two-thirds, half, both, one, etc. Look at the following examples. A ball, an orange, some boys, many books, one card. Every determiner limits the meaning of the noun that follows it. Determiners are of three different types. They are central determiners, predeterminers and post-determiners. They are subdivided according to their position in the noun phrase. We will be looking at predeterminers. Predeterminers are determiners that occur before a determiner. For example, I have only done half the work. The predeterminer in the sentence is half. But there is also a determiner in the sentence. The is a determiner that limits the meaning of the noun work. Thus, the predeterminer half comes before the determiner the. There are three types of predeterminers. They are multipliers, fractional expressions and intensifiers. Double, twice, four times, five times, etc. are examples of multipliers. They are used with singular and plural countable nouns as well as with uncountable nouns. For example, this is four times the cost of that. The multiplicative predeterminer four times comes before the determiner the. The predeterminer is used with the countable noun cost. Look at the next example. She studies twice the time I study. The multiplicative predeterminer twice appears before the determiner the. The predeterminer is used with the uncountable noun time. Fractional expressions are the second type of predeterminers. They can be used with countable as well as uncountable nouns. Two thirds, one fourth, three quarters, etc. are examples of predeterminers. For example, add one fourth of the solution to the test tube. The fractional expression one fourth is the predeterminer. It comes before the determiner the. It is used with the uncountable noun solution. Similarly, in the example, three quarters of the participants are women. The fractional expression three quarters is the predeterminer. It comes before the determiner the. It is used with the countable noun participants. Both, half, all, etc are also examples of predeterminers. The predeterminer all is used with a plural verb to refer to a number of persons or things considered a group. For example, all my clothes are washed. The predeterminer all is used with a plural verb are. It refers to the noun clothes. 
that is considered as a group. All comes before the determiner my. Take a look at the other example. All the girls are singing. The predeterminer all is used with the plural verb are to refer to the noun girls that is considered a group. All comes before the determiner the. Intensifiers are the third type of predeterminers and normally come before the indefinite article. They provide extra information about the noun in the sentence. Such, rather, quite, indeed, what, etc. are examples of intensifiers. Let us look at some examples. This is such a mess. The intensifier such comes before the indefinite article a. It provides more information about the noun mess. Read the next example. It is indeed a pleasant evening. The intensifier indeed comes before the indefinite article A. It indicates the degree of pleasantness of the evening. Some quantifiers such as many, any, several, few, some, etc. can be used as predeterminers. They act as predeterminers when they are used with the word of. Let us read some examples. Some of the seats are empty. The quantifier sum is used with the phrase of the seats. It appears before the determiner the. Similarly in the example, several of my friends are here. The quantifier several is used with the phrase of my friends. It appears before the determiner my. We have looked at predeterminers. Let us now read some more examples. Vicky has explained predeterminers to Sid. Let us revise the main points before the two boys start playing basketball again. A determiner is a word that determines or limits the meaning of a noun. Examples of determiners are a, an, the, his, her, their, some, much, many, two-thirds, half, both, one, etc. Determiners are of three different types, central determiners, predeterminers and post determiners. They are subdivided according to their position in the noun phrase. Predeterminers are determiners that occur before a determiner. There are three types of predeterminers, multipliers, fractional expressions and intensifiers double, twice, four times, five times, etc. are examples of multipliers. They are used with singular and plural countable nouns as well as with uncountable nouns. Fractional expressions are used with countable as well as uncountable nouns. Two-thirds, one-fourth, three-quarters, etc. are examples of Predeterminers, both, half, all, etc., are also examples of predeterminers. The predeterminer all is used with a plural verb to refer to a number of persons or things considered a group. Intensifiers normally come before the indefinite article. They provide extra information about the noun in the sentence. Such, rather, quite, indeed, what, etc. are examples of intensifiers. 
some quantifiers such as many, any, several, few, some, etc. can be used as predeterminers. They act as predeterminers when they are used with the word of. 